get to protect the people that I work closely with. I've been in industrial hygiene about seven years. I've been with the DOE here in Oak Ridge about three and a half years. Um, prior to this, I was in the aerospace industry. So about seven years total. Ryan Cunningham is a project industrial hygienist. Three and a half years ago, Ryan, his wife, and two kids moved from Nashville, and he was greeted with a warm welcome from his new UCOR workforce. I realized what a great place this is to work. So it's been very easy. Everybody's been very welcoming. Um, and I've had some good mentors along the way, so it's been good. When Ryan took his new position, a new sense of responsibility came with it. Yeah, it's very rewarding. I feel like I'm, you know, um, it's meaningful work because I'm, I get to protect the people that I work closely with. Rewarding and giving Ryan a chance to accomplish some big projects. He tells us his biggest challenge is happening right now. One of our biggest accomplishments, and it's currently ongoing, is in the Beta 1 and Alpha 2 facilities. Um, we actually identified some beryllium contamination within the buildings and through working with the work crews um, and the support crews we have been able to successfully um, downpost a lot of these beryllium areas so that other workers can go in and so that there's not an added risk um, of beryllium in the work that they're, they're already doing that's already hazardous. There is more to Ryan than just his work life. He tells us he has a competitive side as well. So yeah, so first off, I mean, I'm a, I'm a big time family man. I got two kids at home, three year old and one year old um, and a wife. So that keeps me busy. But when I'm not at home doing family things or um, I'm usually out on the lake bass fishing, I compete in some local bass fishing tournaments. So if, if I'm not at home, I'm usually on the water. Brian says that he wouldn't be able to do the things that he does without great teams inside the UCOR workforce. It means a lot and I, I can't say enough about the workforce because you know I can prescribe all the controls and um, on paper make the work look as safe as it possibly can be but without those support crews and workers that are actually out in the field um, following that recipe or that playbook wouldn't mean anything. 